Hello, good morning you guys. It's your favorite nurse, Nurse T. Today I wanted to take a little time and uh, offer some clarity about the coronavirus symptoms and uh, if you were exposed to someone who tested positive for coronavirus when you may experience symptoms. Okay, so some of you guys may know that I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and right now Arizona um, is known as one of the hot spots again because our numbers have drastically jumped. And I want to make mention that uh, this particular situation is not just Arizona. This coronavirus is spreading quickly and abroad. The ICU beds are filling up everywhere. And uh, I just want to encourage you guys to be safe. Stay at home when you're out. Practice social distancing. And always, always, always wear a mask wear a mask. Everyone, uh, regardless of their age, have the ability to spread the virus and to contract the virus. So it is very important that we, uh, again, wear masks. But as far as the symptoms, um, you know, I've recently got a couple um, uh, messages about uh, being exposed to the coronavirus and not having symptoms. So first and foremost, I want to point out that if you have been in contact or exposed to someone who has tested positive for the coronavirus, it is important that you quarantine yourself for 14 days. Now, the purpose of this 14-day quarantine is first and foremost to see if you are exhibiting any symptoms of the coronavirus. And the symptoms of the coronavirus was the cough, sore throat, chest pressure, persistent chest pain. Uh, those are some of the severe um, uh, symptoms, but we have the milder symptoms such as diarrhea, uh, skin lesions, uh, nausea, uh, stomach upset and discomfort. But again, first and foremost, if you have been exposed to the coronavirus, you want to put, place yourself in quarantine for a minimum of 14 days and you want to observe yourself for any symptom development. Now what the Center for Disease Control is saying is that between day one and 14, symptoms may manifest. So that may happen on day nine, day three, or day 14. And if your symptoms, if symptoms do manifest, if you are exhibiting signs, it is important for you to um, contact your medical provider, let them know what's going on. Uh, if possible, you do want to care for yourself at home, uh, treat the symptoms. So that is, if you have a fever, give yourself a fever reducer. Uh, if you have a cough, you want to give yourself a cough suppressant. And it's being recommended that you uh, go to the emergency room when your symptoms are not manageable at home. And I, I do want to point out that manageable symptoms is different for everyone, okay? What I can manage at home, you may not be able to manage at home. So um, it, it's important to understand that symptoms that can be managed at home manage them. But again, that varies for different people and depending on the symptoms. Okay, this is your girl Nurse T, your number one go-to nurse, and I hope this video has been helpful.